Arnold Beckman's invention of the helical potentiometer, similar to a common rheostat in 1940, brought a new level of precision and accuracy to electronic controls. Before the helipot, precision resistors and even slide wires were hand-wound, making them expensive and delicate. The electronics industry in pre-World War II years was driven by the demand for radios and associated components. However, the radio-style parts available were often too crude for accurate instruments like Beckman's, leading him to invent the helipot. In 1942, Dr. Beckman received a mysterious phone call and invitation to travel to Boston for a meeting at MIT's Radiation Laboratory, home to the then top secret radar effort. MIT needed precision electronic components, namely potentiometers. Dr. Beckman redesigned the helipot to military specifications and mass-produced them for the U.S. military throughout World War II and after. Helipots found their way into most Beckman products for the next 50 years. From them, Beckman instruments expanded into the electronic components business from microcircuits, including electronic displays. By 1985, the helipot division of Beckman Instruments brought in over $100 million in revenue. Beckman components found their way into every U.S. space mission from Project Mercury to the Space Shuttle. When the Boeing 747 first flew in 1970, there was a Beckman microcircuit in the passenger entertainment system at every seat. Beckman was also, for a time, the largest producer of liquid crystal displays used in digital watches, calculators, and clocks. Dr. Beckman's push into electronic components was another example of his embrace of the electronics revolution and its transformative impacts on science and society.